Hey guys, Sam Harper here. Play for Victoria, the Melbourne Renegades and the Melbourne Career Club. I'm here today with the new Kahuna wiki keeping gloves and they look great and feel great on. I'm gonna take you through a few little wiki keeping drills and tips that I might have and yeah, hopefully that can help your keeping and help you for the upcoming summer. Keeping up to the stumps, that's one of the things that as a keeper we most enjoy, but it also can bring um, probably the most challenge to us as keepers. So, like anything in cricket, there's no one way to do it, but here's a few little things that I do that are quite basic that hopefully can um, help you. The first one we need to address is probably the position and where we're standing. So here I'd be facing up for a right hand batter and yeah, either a right arm off spin bowl or maybe a leg spinner or maybe even a medium pace if, um, if you feel brave enough to get up to the stumps. From there, the positioning in terms of where you're actually standing in relative to the stumps will depend on what the batter's doing with their bat lift, whether they've got a normal bat lift in there, making sure you've got a nice clear view of when the bowl is coming in so you can see it release out of the hand. From there, I like to get my weights nice and through the front, almost feeling like my head is falling forward into the pitch because that's where the ball's coming from and that's how I want to meet it. From there, it's whatever you find to be your nice, powerful split squat. So for me, from a side on angle, that would be my most powerful position. For any young kids out there looking to how best find that position, quite an easy one, is to go down and pretend you're gonna do a jump and whatever sort of position you're in at the bottom, that's generally your most powerful position. So then, hence when I'm up to the stumps, that's the position I'm trying to hold and move and keep from there. Second one, we've got beautiful Kuna gloves on and they give us nice leather and a nice big glove space to use. So we want to use as much of that as possible. So once we've got our squat, doesn't really matter how you get there, but once the ball's about to eat your gloves, it, you might be like this, you might be like that. But when it gets there, you want to have a nice big open glove space as big as possible, ready to catch the ball. And then thirdly, and potentially most importantly, um, like any skill in cricket, our head position is pivotal and vital when we're keeping. So I think I like to use, and something that I've discussed with all my sort of keeping coaches growing up is uh, our head and our hands working together is really important. So for me, a normal ball coming in here, I want a nice, low, powerful position, and I want my head and my hands working together. I'm then gonna be low and powerful, catch the ball. I've got this left foot to a right hander as my anchor, and I'm gonna bring it back in rhythm back to the stumps. Anything that jumps out a bit wider, if it's a bit on the fuller side, I'm gonna get across, get my head and hands with my right foot, again, come back. And then probably a little bit of a challenging one is that one bouncing up through here, which you probably don't wanna step across and get caught here. Your body's a little bit in the way. This is the one where you gotta probably rotate this, this right foot out to the point position and rotate up and take the cut shot, Nick, and off you go. Hand positioning is obviously very important for us as we keep out. At the end of the day, we are there to catch the ball. So where our hands are is quite important. As I touched on before with the low powerful position, for me, most of my takes, I basically want my fingers facing pretty much to the ground, really. That presents a nice full, full glove span. And then from there, I've got them right there, ready to meet the ball, bring them in and catch under my eyes and back to the stumps. Keeping down the leg side is one of the great challenges of keeping, especially when you've got a um, bat spin in the way, which we often do as a batter. When I'm keeping, basically this low powerful position I am in for the offside, when I'm moving across to the leg side, I basically want to keep that head exactly on the same plane. If it's going up and down like this or going up and down like that, it's going to make it much, much harder for us to take the ball. So I sort of want a nice smooth transition across where my head stays nice and level. In terms of footwork, I actually try and stay on the side where the, so if it's a right hand batter, I try and stay on the offside for as long as possible to gather as much information as I can. So I can hopefully see the ball, where it's about to pitch, what sort of revs it might have it on from the spinner. And then from there, it's pretty amazing how the subconscious mind can gather all the rest of the information. So I'm staying here, I've seen it maybe going down the leg side. I'm trying to track the ball for as long as possible. And then I'm gonna sweep across as sharp as possible take the ball and you never even know you might get a little leg side stummy which is always nice. For all the keepers out there I'm sure um, you'll be like man love getting a stumping probably one of my greatest feelings as a wee keeper. To get a stumping obviously the batter is going to run past the ball and whenever the batter runs past the ball the batter is giving us a distraction which obviously easier said than done we're trying to remove the distraction and just keep our concentration on the ball. Something that helped me 
last year is when, when the ball is hitting the pitch, I'm trying to see the ball hit the pitch. And I sort of learned this as a footy lesson. Lenny Hayes used to say when he used to get sold candy, all he'd do is watch the hips. So as a keeper, if I see the ball hit the wicket, I know that whatever the batter's done is sort of irrelevant. So as we touched on before, I'm low, I'm powerful. I've got my head and hands together and I'm basically just trying to see the ball hit the pitch wherever that may be. Once the ball hits the pitch, I'm then watching, reacting, catching the ball. And if the batter does happen to be out of their ground, I've taken it and I'll whip the bails off, hopefully. I think for the fine Knicks, um, keeping up with the stumps, that is probably one of the greatest challenges we do have as a keeper. Um, I mean, for all your keepers out there, when your teammates get it stuck into you, ask the cover bloke if at the last minute he wants a little deflection that far to catch the ball. It can, can create a distraction and can create a little challenge for us. I guess the way, the best way without being too cliche to practice the fine nicks is to get a shadow batter in some description and a little tool that you can use as a little nick stick and practice it as much as you can. And then secondly, when you're down there, all the fundamentals and basics that we spoke about before, none of that changes. You're just trying to stay as relaxed and low and calm as possible and get your body position in the best, best position it can be. And from there, if it's a little fine nick, your, your gloves will just, your gloves will react and hopefully you'll give yourself the best chance to catch the ball. All right guys, we've, caught, we've gone from keeping up to the stumps and now we've got the pace bowls on. Hopefully the brand new ball ready for a few nicks um, standing back. Good thing about standing back is um, we don't need to overcomplicate it too much and really the basics that we spoke about up to the stumps, most of them transition back. So what are you thinking about up to the stumps? You're primarily gonna be thinking about similar things when you're back. For me, as I, again, as I touched on before up to the stumps, I'm gonna encourage you to just get in whatever natural position your body wants to get into. There's no one way to squat, there's no one way to sit, there's no one way to put your hands. That's sort of up to you to decide as to what you feel most comfortable doing. For me, again, it's that low powerful position. And again, I try and get all the weight going through the, um, through the front of my feet and just almost feel like I'm coming forward. That just means I'm not getting stuck back on my heels with my weight going backwards, which is not the position we want to be in. From there, again, I'm in that low powerful position. When the ball is about to hit the pitch and I'm keeping back, whether you're five yards back, 10 yards, 15 yards back, it doesn't really matter. That's when you really want to be in that low powerful position. So you might want to start standing like this and eventually get into that position, or you might be a bit more traditional and start right down there and eventually get into that position. But how you get there is completely up to you. Once the ball has either been nicked, played or missed or left by the batter and you're in the game as the keeper, from there, we're going to move obviously to wherever the ball is coming. So we're going to track it start step across and again the biggest thing for me keeping back uh, which i've been trying to work on with my own keeping personally as well is again drawing that nice straight line from where my head and my hands are tracking i'm nice and out in front i'm low and i'm catching it all the way into my head because if you think about it our eyes are what's going to track the ball and that's what we want to be doing as a keeper so there it's pretty hard to be consistent with our catch but where we, where we are here with our eyes and if i if i go to demonstrate one i'm going to be catching there and taking it in and then throwing it back. So that's our nice, slow, powerful position to catch. Yeah, that's sort of keeping back. And then the fun stuff is when the, well, fun stuff is when we get one of those diving nicks. So from there, again, we're in that low, powerful position. The bat has nicked it. I've got my balls on the front of my feet. I'm low, I'm powerful. And then it's up to you ready to react and you can, off you go. Hopefully jump and take that screamer and hopefully your teammates get around you. Great to check in and chat with you guys today. A little bit about um, yeah, some weird keeping things that hopefully you can add into your game this summer and yeah, maybe in a tip or a drill that you can take into your training as we lead into, into the summer upcoming. I was in the great uh, Kahuna gloves, which look great for the upcoming season. I'm looking forward to getting in these myself. And yeah, hope to see plenty of you out there this summer taking plenty of catches and getting plenty of stumpings up to the stumps.